Uh, 6B, uh, Director Rios, Veterans Services, Fourth Quarter Report. Happy New Year, Director Rios. It'll uh, push the button and it'll, oh, you're on. Okay. Not that I need to be recorded. I'm paranoid about that. So um, I brought some things to update. I have my quarterly report. Our data and our statistical data, it's hard to get it here on the 1st of January because we have a lot of year-end stuff. So thank you for pushing us off into February, hearing our report. Our numbers are the way they are, so if you have questions about those. Some of the projects I wanted to give you an update on. Um, we did hire somebody back in September, and he left our office about two weeks ago. So we now have to go through the hiring process again and, uh, and restart. So, uh, so he was on probation, so that at least kind of was a little bit easier. But he willingly left, so he wanted to leave. He drove over an hour, and he had a lot of car problems, too, so that was hard to keep him at the office. Um, we had a pilot program f since December 2011 with DHHS, and that ended in January. So we, we are no longer tracking data on every veteran that walks into DHS and gets a referral to our office. But we are and we have implemented best practices, and they are going to do that across the state since we were the pilot. So yay me, yay Macomb, we set the standard. <laughs> so it's been huge and it was successful. Um, our portal project, which is our portal of service, which now we call Matrix. I did email it, um, just an update, and you'll probably get that uh, in the next few days. But we meet weekly. And this is the project that we have for surveys, and we just purchased the equipment. We need to obligate the we needed to obligate the money by the end of last year. We did obligate it. We do have the contract. We do have uh, the equipment already, and that equipment is now at another contractor's uh, getting configured. So the only thing these uh, tablets can do is do the survey only. They can't do anything else, and. Half the tablets are going to some agencies where they're going to use them as tablets, and the others are going inside kiosks. And the kiosk weigh about 50 pounds. But I have a four-page update. Don't need to go through this, but uh, we meet weekly. Our questions have been tweaked now that the survey's up and running, and we're using it internally. And it's... It's one thing to see what we want, but once you put it on a tablet and you have to get it all in one screen, that's a whole never story. That's a whole nother story, because we can't hover. You can't touch something and hover. There's no hovering on this tablet, so we have to try to condense, and that's what we're doing right now. But part of this project is the questions. We've already done the landing page and the consent page, and it's HIPAA compliant. Is what I call the back end question questions, but it's really the reporting data. We've already started collecting or deciding what can we um, report, what kind of data can we report back to you based on the questions that we're asking. So there's some things that are just, well, if, if, if the moon shined every day, you know, it would be great to eliminate the need for, you know, we want everybody to be on independent as we, the beginning of our our meetings, it was to reduce the number of people we have assisted to get them on a path to independence. Because ultimately, we want everybody on a path of independence and not needing so much county resources. Um, so some of these questions answer that, and some of these questions, based on the results of the data, will answer that in a black and white kind of way. So. And lastly, the books are on order. I ordered a book for all of you, each to have one, and it's what every veteran should know. And they were changing from 2017 to 2018, so I said, let's just wait for the 18, and they're going to be in by the end of the month. So around the 1st of March, I should have them for all of you. And so that's going to be nice for you. They're just small, 
maybe put in your bag and when you go and meet your constituents, you have a handy reference guide. All right, very good. Thank you, Laura. Uh, do we have a motion to receive and file? We have a motion by Kraft, support by Sauger. We have uh, uh, Commissioner Carabelli. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Two questions for you. Number one, we had talked in the past about um, you accessing uh, information of people, uh, of veterans getting out and your difficulty, and then you ended up. Uh, I have not received that data yet. I requested it, but I have not received that data yet. I requested that a good three or four months ago, okay. maybe five. Can I ask you to uh, send that information over to the, to the board office here so we can see if we can help? You mean the list of names? You need that list of names, and I thought they were going to give it to you on a constant basis. No, okay. it was going to be a one time. Okay. Can we, uh, can you, any information on who you asked for, who you asked that of to get you that information to the board here so we might be able to assist you? Because um, we did meet the individual in uh, Washington, and they said that they should not be a problem for you to access this information. And that's why I asked you mm -hmm. the question, because I haven't mm -hmm. heard back. Right. So we'd like to follow up on that. Um, second question, is there anything else besides that that this county board can do to assist you in uh, your, your endeavors? Well, <laughs> you bring that up. <laughs> hmm. Well, no. Um, easy, easy killer. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I'm sure he has a lot of things, too. No. Um, actually, uh, our file room, has maxed its capacity. So granted, I did get new space, and we're now using our new space, and thank you very much, accounting, I mean, the legal aid uh, moved to another location in the county, okay. so now I've gained that beautiful new space. And, uh, but instead of having more paper files, the goal is to make them paperless. And to do that, I had on my books two extra new employees for uh, being service officers. And one of them was going to work with Michigan Works with the unemployment, but I thought one of them could work maybe six to eight months scanning all those documents and making our office paperless. Because if there was a fire, it's one thing to have all our case files, because really we only have copies and the VA has originals and, and we can always just access the VA system to get those. But our trust fund grant, they have copies in Lansing, but our relief fund if we had a fire, we're, we're done. We have no backup because they're, they're paper. They're not, they're not paperless. Granted, we now keep them on a computer maybe the last couple years, but we have 20 years worth of files that are part of the grant program. And this is the county grant program, so it's not Lansing's grant program. It's, it's Macomb County's relief fund program. So I'm trying to hire a temp i'm trying to hire somebody so we can start doing the paper you know just scanning to, the documents it, it already said they they have a scanner for me they can bring over another scanner and have one person do this full time well laura we had we had somebody doing all the board files from uh planning and economic development i was it a mm -hmm. uh but talk to it talk to planning and economic development uh, contractor or whoever, mm -hmm. but uh, could be some major help in, in getting you paper less. Mm -hmm. Any other comments or questions? Uh, uh, Chairman Smith. Hi, Laura. Yes, um, two things. How is that um, board of individuals that you, uh, you know, that I think it's kind of like an auxiliary board that we, you started a while back. Are you still utilizing those gentlemen? Um, no. And reason behind that is I gave them a couple projects to work on mm -hmm. and one person responded two people actually responded and the rest never even came to the first meeting okay seemed like there was a few people at the first meeting I remember that was it mm -hmm. okay maybe two okay like four maybe came to the first meeting mm -hmm. and then when I gave them hey this is a great project how about working on this yeah. to work our transportation mm -hmm. Because um, one of them is a VA employee down sure, in Detroit, I that. and so he gave us back all the data that we needed from Detroit, and he was excellent and giving us the data. Mm -hmm. And then uh, everybody else kind of like took a piece of the pie, and yeah, we didn't hear back. Okay, well, so. 
Remind us of that uh, next time there's an opening and mm -hmm. some people uh, volunteer for that, that board. It's just Correct. something to, you know, that we should know. Mm -hmm. um, number two, I just wanted to explain something to you, and I'm sure you realize this, but mm -hmm. a while back um, I had um, Patty email you. Um, mm -hmm. I had a conversation with mm -hmm. uh, Karen Bethanti. They said the, mm -hmm. the project was in. She was willing to look out at uh, mm -hmm. the positions that you requested just to make sure there was no mm -hmm. problems. And we put that email out to you and everybody else that – you know, from there, talk to her, and then from there, follow whatever your mm -hmm. procedure is, because everybody's different, and come back mm -hmm. to the board, and uh, um, we will be happy to uh, address those positions once they get back to us. So I just wanted to clarify that, because some mm -hmm. people seem to think that we didn't know that that you guys know your own procedure, how you would have to get back mm -hmm. to us, but I wanted you to know that we were uh, uh, willing to, I mean, we, we were standing behind what we said at the beginning. First, we want right. to look at the compensation study and have you get the okay from HR mm -hmm. and then hopefully you deal with uh, the powers that be and the, mm -hmm. the channels and, and come back to us. So I just want to make it clear that we're still hoping Thank to you. see you very soon with that. Exactly because the compensation study results are next week. So yes. we're all going to be there. Great. So hopefully we'll be able to move forward. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks. So. All right. Any other comments or questions? We have a motion and support to receive and file. Please vote. Da, da, da. I'm going to kill this thing. I got the hammer. Yes. Well, hopefully it'll work. All right. Uh, Laura, thank you very much. The motion passes, I guess. Uh, yes, nine zip.